As we approach the altar of the Lord, let us sing the hymn from With Joyful Lips, number A47. The love of Christ has gathered us together, rejoicing Him and be glad. My soul longs for the Lord, rise, O Lord, to our need, make your In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in today's liturgy, Jesus is calling us to follow him. And the one who follows Christ, love him and serve him. So as we take part in this Eucharistic celebration, let us acknowledge that many times, even after following Jesus, we did not love Him and serve Him. For this and other shortcomings, let us ask pardon. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned. In my thoughts and my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the Mary of a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Give us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christ eleison. Christ Let us pray. Let us put forth our personal intentions. Grant us, Lord, we pray that being rightly confirmed to the Paschal Mysteries, what we celebrate in joy may protect and save us with perpetual power. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, it seemed good to the apostles and the elders with the whole church to choose men from among them and send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. They sent Judas called Barsabas and Silas, leading men among the brothers with the following letter. The brothers, both the apostles and the elders, to the brothers who are of the Gentiles in Antioch and Syria and Cilicia greetings. Since we have heard that some persons have gone out from us, 
and troubled you with words unsettling your minds although we gave them no instructions it has seemed good to us having come to one accord to choose men and send them to you with our beloved barnabas and paul men we have risked their lives for the name of our lord jesus christ we have therefore sent judas and silas who themselves will tell you the same thing by word of mouth for it has seemed good to the holy spirit and to us to lay on you no greater burden than these requirements that you that you abstain from what has been sacrificed to idols and from blood and from what has been strangled and from sexual immorality if you keep yourselves from these you will do well forever so when they were sent off they went down to antioch and having gathered the congregation together they delivered the letter and when they had read it they rejoiced because of its encouragement the word of the lord thanks be to god <coughs> let our response be i will praise you lord among the peoples please repeat i, I will praise, praise you lord, lord among lord the peoples my heart is ready o god my heart is ready i will sing i will sing your praise awake my soul awake lyo and harp i will awake the dawn your response i will praise you lord among the peoples i will praise you lord among the peoples among the nations sing psalms to you for your mercy reaches to the heavens and your truth to the skies be exalted o god above the heavens may your glory shine on all the earth your response i will praise you lord among the peoples please stand for the acclamation alleluia You did not choose me, 
but I chose you and appointed you, that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should abide, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. These things I command you, so that you will love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, in today's Gospel, Jesus is telling the disciples, I have called you friends. He has called us and he has called and appointed us, he chose and appointed us to become his followers. And when we are called by Jesus, it is to love him and to serve him. And that is why he gave this commandment that to go love one another as I have loved you. To love Jesus is to fall in love with him. And if we fall in love with Jesus, then we can become friends of Jesus. There are two aspects in this gospel, the love of God and to become friends of Jesus. When we love God, we have to love our neighbors, our enemies, the one who hurt us. That is the true love. And this love is shown by Jesus from the cross. He even forgave the enemies, the one who crucified him. That is the greatest love for us. And Jesus came in this world to love us and to show God's love towards humanity. The second aspect is when we love Jesus, we become friends of Jesus. The one who is become who is a friend of Jesus becomes the friend of the poor. And that is the love which we put in practice in service. If we love God and if we don't serve the poor, then we cannot become friends of Jesus. In today's first reading we see Paul and Barnabas, they were called and chosen by Jesus to become friends of Jesus. And as friends, they went on proclaiming the word of God, they went on loving the people and bringing closer these people to Jesus. So my dear friends, in baptism, we are all called and chosen to love God and to serve the poor. So as we take part in this Eucharistic celebration, let us ask the grace of God so that we may love God and neighbor and become true friends of the poor. And in a way, we will become friends of Jesus. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good. 
good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to claim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalt in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving things, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity 
together with Francis R. Hope and Philip Maria Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. To him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the severe command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us out of the temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of God and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The crucified is risen from the dead and has redeemed us. Alleluia. Since we cannot receive Jesus sacramentally, let us make an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. 
we have partaken of the gifts of the sacred mystery humbly imploring the lord that what your son commanded us to do in memory of him we bring us growth in charity to christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen the mass is ended go in the peace of christ thanks be to god pope francis prayer of mercy for blessed mother o mary you always shine on our path as a sign of salvation and of hope we entrust ourselves to you help of the sick who at the cross took part in jesus pain keeping your faith firm o dear mother you know what we need and we are sure you will provide it to us so that as in cana of kelly we may return to joy and to feasting after this time of trial help us mother of divine love to confirm to the will of the father and to do as we are told by jesus who has been upon himself our suffering and carried our sorrows to lead us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection amen under your protection we seek refuge o holy mother of god do not disdain the entreaties of us who are in trial but deliver us from every danger o glorious and blessed virgin let us sing the hymn t 40 on with joyful lips <laughs> Baby